everyone, Chris Janet here for Carplay TV, bringing you another update of the 2009 World Series of Poker. We've got three more bracelet winners this year. In event number four, the $1,000 buy-in No Limit Hold'em event boasted the largest non-main event field in WSV history with 6,012 players. And the winner was Steve Song, snagging the bracelet and $771,000 in cash. The professional player from Torrance, California not only won his first bracelet, but his victory also ended a series of final table disappointments over the past couple of years. Event number five, the $1,500 buy-in Palama Omaha event was won by Jason Mercier. He took home his first bracelet and $237,000 for outlasting the 809 player field. Mercier defeated Stephen Burkholder heads up. And event number six, the $10,000 buy-in World Championship 7-card stud event also crowned a winner. Freddie Ellis, a 74-year-old real estate broker from Brooklyn, New York, won the bracelet and $389,000 top prize. This was only his second major tournament cash, with his first being in a 7-card stud tournament in 2003. And here's a quick update on the events continuing today. Event number seven, the $1,500 buy-in No Limit Hold'em event ended day two yesterday with 33 players of the 2,791 that started. First place is $667,000. Event number eight, the $2,500 buy-in No Limit Deuce to Seven Draw Low Ball also ended day two yesterday. We're now down to a final table with John Manetti as chip leader. Also still in the hunt for the $96,000 first place prize is Phil Ivey. He's six in chips of the seven that remain. The two events entering day two today are event number nine, the $1,500 buy-in six-handed No Limit Hold'em tournament, and event number 10, the $2,500 buy-in Half Pot Limit Hold'em, Half Pot Limit Omaha event. Two events starting today are event number seven, the $2,000 buy-in No Limit Hold'em tournament, and event number 12, the $10,000 buy-in World Championship Mixed Event. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Christiana for Cartoon TV.